Hey everyone, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins. Uh, we're looking at a chance for some storms. This is several days away. This is uh, from the Storm Prediction Center, day six and day seven. And you don't usually see uh, things from the Storm Prediction Center this far out. I mean, this is next Thursday and Friday that we're going to look at, and it's the weekend still. So when they start to see things uh, this far out, and we'll, I'll show you what they're what they're seeing. Uh, it's you take notice. You're like, okay, we're going to keep an eye on this area. Now it's not going to be this speci this specific area is where we're watching most closely, but it'll probably shift a little bit as new information comes in, and uh, it might shift north, might shift south, west. You know, just a little bit. But uh, the, right now, uh, northern or well, central Kansas through Oklahoma and Texas has the better chance at seeing uh, some severe weather Thursday. Now timing is still a little off. Models kind of have it in the morning, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if that gets pushed back in you know, 10 or 12 hours. So take that for a grain of salt, uh, with a grain of salt with, uh, when I show you that. So that's Thursday. And then Friday, a day later, it kind of shifts uh, the chance north and east a little bit, which makes sense. That's usually how the track of some of these storms go, uh, especially when they move from southwest to northeast this time of year. So that would make sense. Uh, and it's a continuation. And uh, it also wouldn't surprise me if by for Saturday, which is day eight, which you hardly ever see, but uh, the potential is there. Uh, this could shift even further east, like towards uh, St. Louis, Chicago, Cincinnati, or just due east, depending on what the jet stream is doing. So there's a lot to figure out, but that's Thursday and Friday. So let's go through these, uh, th these forecasts. This is, again, I, I think this might get shifted uh, later in the day, because right now this is saying 5.30 a.m. Timing is always tough when it's this far out. Models just, you know, they do what they do. Uh, but uh, here's a line of storms from the Dakotas south towards Kansas. Uh, I'm going to put this into motion. Notice how it just kind of tilts a little bit, and it's almost directly up and down from eastern South Dakota into uh, eastern Nebraska and eastern Kansas by uh, Thursday later in the day. And then it kind of shifts east, and then this is Thursday late afternoon, and then another wave of storms Friday morning. So, again, I think you could probably push this back about 12 hours and that would make more sense because morning storms like 8 a.m. thunderstorms firing doesn't usually happen. It can, uh, so that's some one thing we'll be watching for to see if this changes. Uh, but just remember, Thursday and Friday, the chance for storms uh, will be there, large hail damaging wind and maybe even an isolated tornado. Here's Friday afternoon. You're starting to see this swirl this is the center of the low right here, then it comes back down. So this makes sense. This could be Friday afternoon, and there's your line of storms. The strongest part of the storm, even though it's not really showing up, is looking like it's going to be in this area. So again, the, the models aren't doing a great job perfectly, but the nuts and bolts are there. And that's why the Storm Prediction Center is saying, just keep an eye on this for us, will you? Uh, and that's what we'll do. And then as we head into Friday night into Saturday, everything pushes east, which is to be expected. So it's getting there. This is another model. This one is uh, the GFS. This one's uh, still, this is a good six, seven, eight days out, but it's picking up on the same thing. So when models are in agreement, it's, it's hard to ignore. So it's kind of doing the same thing where this one's Thursday evening, that chance for some strong storms starts to push in this line right here, which is where that, uh, that, that risk is for. The risk is for about right there south. Uh, so this is really, really close. And that other model was really close to that as well. And then as we head into Friday, again, this is kind of the area that we're looking at uh, up through this general area, which would make, uh, which is, if you remember that Friday, um, that Friday outlook, it had kind of this area right there under that risk for severe weather. And this particular model is saying, yeah, that, uh, that holds true. See, they're right there. Another chance for those strong storms Friday afternoon into Friday evening, and then it all pushes off that way. So it's there. The, the potential is definitely there for uh, strong storms Thursday and Friday models. Pretty much in agreement, some slight changes, some slight variance from one to the other timing-wise. Uh, position. So this is, these are all things, this is just kind of an early heads up. It's like, watch for this down the road. It is certainly possible we could see some severe weather in those two circled areas uh, that we sh were showing earlier. So I'll have more updates. I uh, might do another one tomorrow if uh, look, things are looking better or early next week. 
uh, but uh, definitely we'll have some updates. So like and subscribe, that way you know when I have updates. I always leave it on YouTube first for a while, so all of the subscribers get to see it first, uh, and then I'll post it to all the other social media channels. But thank you to everybody that likes and subscribes, and uh, we'll see you next time.